Welcome back, my friends, to the slowest scaven campaign you've ever seen. Oh yes, I'd like to apologise for that first of all. I hate being this inconsistent with campaigns, but to be honest, it's the damn army guides. They take so much of my time, so much of my effort, that everything else just kind of falls by the wayside. But very soon, I will have more time for videos, and hopefully we'll get to a weekly or maybe even fortnightly campaign episode. And obviously I'm trying to get my Chaos campaign done as well, so there's a lot going on. I'd like to get this Skaven campaign out and finished before Norska come out, so I can start a Norska campaign. We'll have to see. Or maybe at least if I can get one of the campaigns finished, and then I can just still do two, but... I'd rather just be doing one at a time, because I can put more focus onto it. Anyway, back to this campaign. Lizardmen, Last Defenders, Krokgar. I've moved on them. I'm going to start taking their places up north, like up north of where I am now. And then I'm going to move down, I'm going to try and get that place that's in the, in the ridge there. Krokgar's over here besieging Zlatland, so I've got to be careful that he doesn't come down here after, once I do declare war on him. But for now, I'm going to send this army up towards the Golden Tower, because I think we might need the help with it. There's a, a fair garrison there, and an army there. And I do have this Doom Engineer, who I'd like to try and make use of. I've got the right for him. So, we'll take that place. It's a nice, easily defendable place, the Golden Tower, because it's right in between those mountains. And then it's a case of... Do I just hold this land? Because it'll be quite defendable, I think. Or do I push out and try to take some more of the last defender stuff? I don't really want to be too much of an enemy of Krokgar. Because the Lizardmen... <sighs> okay, look, I hate fighting the Lizardmen in campaigns. They're just so... Well, ridiculous. They come with, like, a full stack of Saurus Warriors, which are not a cheap unit. And they've got, like, two settlements. It's like, how on earth are you doing that? You cheating computer bastard! Ahem. Okay. I think I've done everything I need to do. We shall advance. And we'll attack the lizard men's place next turn. Unless anything drastic happens, of course. Slatland holding in there. Croc guards all over him. It seems the last defenders are maybe a little bit overpowered in campaigns. They always seem to do ridiculously well. And they all have conquered like the whole of this area in like 30 turns. Anyway... We're going to stop that from happening in this campaign, at least. Can't do much there. Okay, we'll do it. Here we go. Declaring the wars. Suck it, Krokgar. We're coming at you. Oh. Even with my monumentous army, there's still a good chance they'll apparently win. With a tiny fucking arm. Oh. I think I might just order it, you know. Fuck it. I think I'll be alright. I can't be bothered to fight it. It's pointless. There we go. Pure victory. Lost some clan rats. That was fine. We've got some food. Ooh. Uh, we won't upgrade it because I don't want to spend too much food. I'm having food troubles as it is. This place does give a food building note, which I'm going to build right down now. That should help us out a fair amount. There is a place up north, actually. This is part of the province, isn't it? Yeah, so I probably should have just gone for this place first and then worked my way down, but I'll come back for it. Start to make our way back down south now. We're prepared to attack the Golden Tower. Oh, apparently my Doom Engineer can't do anything. The settlement doesn't have walls. Oh, I thought it was a, a main place. I thought main places have walls. Oh well. Gotta move down, take Serpent Coast. Wanna try and take this province of course. Hence why I should have gone north first, really. And that was an easy take. Okay. We'll have a little replenish. And then we'll attack the Golden Tower. We've got Ruckus on the other side of the mountain as well, with his army. So we shouldn't have any trouble taking this. And then it's kind of the question, do we keep pushing on the last defenders and try to wipe them out? Because they are a very powerful force. Or do we try to get peace and just hope someone else takes them out once we beat them down? so that they're considerably weaker, which is going to be the best way to go. I'm going to send my Doom Engineer over towards Slatlan, just to try and make use of him more than anything else. And I'm actually... <sighs> I'm wondering if... There's pretty much a full Krokgar army there. I think I need to pull Ruckus back. I don't want to have trouble with the Uatek, because if Krokgar comes down... Uatek will probably fall, and then he'll just like walk his way through my lands and just destroy everything. So I think we're going to play it safe. I'll maybe try raiding or ambushing or something over here to draw this army out of the Golden Tower. 
And we'll have to try and do it that way. Oh! Oh, they're just going to come at me. At the Serpent Coast. And we are going to throw down. They've got a lot of Saurius war Saurius Warriors. Sure. A lot of Saurius Warriors and a bunch of other random stuff. But I think we should be fine. I think this is a winnable one. If we get this army out of the way, it should be plain sailing through to the Golden Tower. I'm a little bit beaten up. Got my Plague Monks and my Halberds intact, though. Going to need to get those on the Bastillodons. Going to need to work our way through the Saurus Warriors. They're the biggest worry, to be honest. Bastillodons and stuff aren't too bad to deal with. They're quite easy to make them go feral and just stab them to death with spears. This is a nice little monument I can maybe take advantage of. Okay, let's fall back to this. So will help us not get flanked, basically. Clan rats up the front to absorb any charges. Might as well use these half-dead ones to do a little flanking thing with, just to distract some units. Play Claw Catapult. Going to be quite useful. Maybe I should... Uh, no. Um, Queek. Queek can go up front. He can try and absorb some of the charges. As he is a melee beast. Poison Wind and Warp Fire Throwers are going to be quite important. Halberds are going to be very important. Got to stop the large. Put them maybe just in the back there. Enemy large tends to like to run straight at you. That should have us covered. I've got some clam rat spears as well. Plague Monks, they can go right at the back for now. We'll apply them where they're needed. I'd like to try and wear the Saurus Warriors down a little bit if I can before the Plague Monks get in there. Okay. Um, let me put these on the flank. They can come around the back. Try and shoot some Saurus Warriors in the back. As we may need it. Because we don't have a great deal of armor piercing. In fact, we don't really have any armor piercing apart from the Rat Ogres who are here. Who I nearly forgot about. Um, put them on a flank somewhere. Send a little flanking force over there. Maybe I'll keep them back here for now. You can maybe flank round on the front line if needed. These boys can just do whatever the hell they want to try and slow them down and keep them in front of my catapult a bit longer. Okay. I think we're ready. Here we go. The defense of the Serpent Coast. Lots of spears. Oh, the Saurus spears. I thought they were Saurus warriors. Okay. My mistake. I'm not sure if that's better or worse, to be honest. Saurus spears will hold longer, but they won't do as much damage. I think that's probably better than being all Saurus warriors. I think that would be worse. Because they output a lot of damage, and they've got tons of armor. Some cavalry coming over. Probably going to ruin all these little units on the right, but that's okay. Start bombarding the incoming troops. So not too much of a, a fancy plan here. We're going to play defensive as we've got the artillery. And it's going to completely miss most of the time. So that's cool. It's really good. It really helps. When there's 9 million lizard men coming my way. Oh. They're engaged. If these boys can just do a little bit of damage I'll be happy. They're doing some damage to those gold ones. That's good. That'll do. Get those ones. Get those ones. Get them on the run. There we go. Getting a little bit of damage on the go. I like it. And units that only have like 20 rats in them. But still it on there. Cold ones. So we should be able to deal with all that. Don't want to let the cold ones get behind us too much though. Can't have them getting into the back of my plague monks or anything. That would be devastating. Ooh, there's a lot coming over on the left. Might need something over there. Uh, Halberds. These clan rat spears will do. Go and help over there. Rat ogres, get ready for this side. They are coming. Nice hit from the catapult there, finally. Repair on the left. The front line is my biggest worry. I've got to try and hold all these in place as much as we can. And then get some flanking done on them, I think. And these units on the right, even though they're not doing a great deal of damage, they're still pulling some enemy units away from the main fight, which is going to make life easier for our main army here. A necessary sacrifice. I'm trying to use Quick to slow down this Bacillodon. <laughs> As you may expect, it has failed miserably. But it stopped him charging 
Throw it into our clan rats, get a bit of ooh, nice bit of damage there. Gonna get the halberds into it. That thing should be dead fairly quickly. Okay, let's bring up some plague monks. So I don't know how long my clan rats are gonna hold. Oh, they've engaged on the left. Halberds need to get in there. Good job I brought the extra spears over. That first unit absorbed all the charges and got completely ruined. It's okay, lads. It's okay. We're gonna be fine, probably. Um, Let's get the plague monks in now. Walk fire throwers doing a bit of damage. Very good. Get the rat ogres round. Oh, some spears coming for them. We'll have to go round them. Last plague monks can just stay in waiting. We don't want to shoot our own boys in the back. Okay, we're we're comfortable. We're comfortable here. Just got to get these rat ogres around the back. Obviously, there's a lot of spears, so we don't want the rat ogres to hang around too long. But we're gonna try and do this damage. Walk fire throwers. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Keep on coming. There we go. We got round them. Uh, okay, let's... Doing okay on the left side. Start to whittle these cavalry down. We need to shoot those damn pterodons. For some reason, my night runners are getting into melee. God damn it. Right, let's just drop some charges on this back line. Charges and morale penalties are going to be very useful, I think. Bastilladon coming back. Get rid of him, get rid of him. Holding on the left pretty well. Let's get my Knight Runners and bring them round a bit. I need to get these Pterodons. I think that's why they kept running into those cavalry. My Rat Ogres seem to be getting the routing done. Three units going there. Awesome. Pull them back though, get another charge here. I'm going to use them like a shock cavalry. Make use of those charge bonuses and that fear ability as well, all across the front line. We have broken on the left a little bit, but we've got some units there to replace. All's looking okay. Obviously a lot of these units are probably going to come back, but that's fine. I'm going to try and keep as many as I can from coming back. Some of these cold ones coming over now though, they finished with my crappy little units. Oh, these pterodons are still somehow not being shot. Come on! Where's my plague claw going? Don't chase things, you fool. So we've dealt with most of the spears. They were quite a worry, so now it's the cold ones that are a bit of a worry. They should be dealt with post-haste. Another charge from the rat ogres. Should route the rest of these units. We'll get Queek into their general now as well. Drop the old minus melee defense head taker buff. And Queek should absolutely wreck his life. These cold ones hanging in there, they don't they don't route easy, do they? This is the trouble with the lizard men, they stick around for so long. Get the damn pterodons! There we go, finally they come forward into range. Shoot the pterodons. Let's get these boys around the back, bit of flankage. Just gotta destroy the leadership and the leader. Of the lizard men. We'll have this in the back. Breaking a little bit over here though. Pterodon's going after the catapult. Alright. Come on, Queeky. Finish him off now. That's it. Stab him in the eye holes. So it's just done the cleanup phase now, really. I think we've got it won. I mean, it's a very loose. We've got it won. I still could lose this, probably. But I think I'm okay. Got a lot of units to bring back. Luckily they didn't go off the map. I forgot I have the menace below. Drop that on some of these. Get the morale penalties. All should be well. Okay, so with this defeat of this army, I mean, hopefully I can kill as much of it as I can so that I can finish it off nice and easy. And then I'll be able to take the Golden Tower with relative ease. But probably not too much ease because it's the lizard men. And then it'll be time to move on Krokgar himself. Which will be no easy feat. Especially if he's on his Carnosaur. Because he's a nightmare when he's on that thing, to be honest. Especially online because people just charge him around like there's no tomorrow. And he's basically nearly impossible to stop. But we'll find a way. And there's always a way. Where's this Bastilladon come from? Is that one of the ones that was chasing my other units around? He's got far too much health. Please whittle him down and destroy him post-haste. 
We've taken some quite heavy losses though in this battle actually, which is not going to make it easy to try and take the Golden Tower, so we'll have to see how we do in replenishment over the next turn, as we may not have a lot left to actually take the tower with. There we go, getting some white flags now, and that should spell the victory. Happy days. My Plague Monks especially have taken quite the hammering. Let's see how well they did. Did they get many kills? Uh, not too bad. They were fighting heavily armoured lizard men to be fair, so... For that, they have done quite well. They have done quite well. A close victory, overall. Now I'm very curious to see. I mean, we've got to try and finish this army off as well, because it's probably going to try and run back to the Golden Tower. And that's not going to be easy either. We'll get the replenishment. Well, we need the food, really. We'll go for the replenishment, though, in a bid to try and take this. They've run off that way. Are they going to go home? Oh, someone else is coming over. It's only a small army, though. Good. Good old top knots. I still remember the top knots from my Greenskins campaign. I haven't seen them much otherwise. Okay, they haven't gone back to the Golden Tower. Perfect. There's a nine garrison there. That should should be beatable. Krokgar's staying put. Ruckus needs to move back though, just in case. We don't trust Krokgar. We don't trust him one bit. I think maybe Ruckus' army actually could do the bit of an upgrade because it's a lot of Skaven slaves who are quite dreadful. We do have the Rat Ogres now though, so I can rock my Rat Ogre flanking Hammer and Anvil build a bit with this army. I think this army could maybe use some ranged actually, so we'll get rid of some of our Skaven Slaves and get the Skaven Slave Slingers, who are definitely not very good, but at least some kind of range component is going to be handy. Okay, do I finish off this army, or do I just move on the Golden Tower? I think I'll finish off the army. We've replenished quite well, so that's good. We shouldn't lose any of these units when we attack somebody. But I don't want this little army coming around attacking any of my places and taking them because that will just make life even more annoying. So we'll get rid of them. There we go. It's massively in our favour, but I think to avoid losses, I'm going to fight it. Because I should be able to do this with minimal losses to my important units. I've got my Plague Claw Catapult that will probably finish off most of this army by its damn self. The generals have got no health, so one stab from Queek and he'll be down. It's just taking out the Saurus Warriors and making sure the Bastilodons don't do a lot. Because very often, if you order resolve things, you'll take far more damage than you ever would if you fought it. So, as we're about to try and take the Golden Coast, not the Golden Coast, the Golden Tower, we'll fight it. Going to be all about the Plague Claw. Not the best angle here, though. We'll try and use only the things we need to. The better Plague Monks. Keep the other two out of the way. Weak and the Halberds are okay. They can get involved. We'll pull everything else back out the way. I don't want to have to use any of these units that are quite beaten down already. I'd like them to be in as good nick as possible so they don't die if we have to auto resolve anything or if we have to go into battle. We'll move up the hill, try and find them. They're defending, so they shouldn't move up on us. Oh, I tell a lie, they're moving up on us. Pterodons, we should be able to gun them down quite quickly. Let's get the play claw firing. That's the important thing at the moment. Get rid of that Bastilodon if we can. It's got low leadership because it's got no health. Okay, Halberds up. Get that damn Bastilodon down. That one's got quite a bit of health as well. We'll get the Halberds into it. I'm going to charge him down because he seems to be making a beeline for my warp fire throwers. We should be just fine. Pterodons are nearly gone. Bastilodon is getting into all my stuff now. Everyone get away, apart from the Halberds. Oh, just hit that Bastilodon right in the face. It's still coming though, and it's about to charge into my Blade Monks. Brilliant. Um, okay, this was not my best plan in the world. I thought we'd route that quicker than we did. They're facing the wrong way. Ah, it's all going to shit. Turn around. There we go. One Bastilodon dead. We'll get their general dead. Queek needs to go and do that, but he's all the way over there. 
Fire their general down, literally. Warp fire him down. Still, as long as the other parts of my army aren't taking any damage, it's fine. There we go. The routing ensues. Just the skirmishers on the left. We'll try and keep this stuff routing so it doesn't come back. So there we go, some progress. We've gotten rid of the army that was defending the Golden Tower, so that will now basically be ours. Our biggest worry then is going to be good old Krokgar and how to get rid of him. But once we do have Krokgar out of the way, I think things will be a lot easier. And we may even just push through their lands and just raise their stuff. Sack and raise all their stuff so that they're basically dead and done for. All the other factions around can take their land. And we can just have our nice little place and maybe sail off to somewhere else. But of course we do have the rituals to think about. The ritual, second ritual isn't going to be too far off as we're a little bit there already. So we've got some we've got some options here. We shall see how things progress. I'm trying to get all this stuff dead, to be honest. Because I might have to fight it again. Come on. Hurry up and wrap. You're all but defeated. Who knew skinks were the toughest in the army? I think I've achieved my goal there of, well, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say whether I've taken more losses fighting this or whether I would have taken more auto-resolving this, but, oh well, it's done now, we're out in these boys, let's just chop as many as we can down, nice bit of experience from my plague monks, and that should spell the end, the bar is basically full, come on, it's over, there we go. Did anyone do particularly well? Queek got himself some kills? Not really. Mostly the Halberds. All in the Halberds. We allowed some of the Saurus Warriors to get more kills than I would have liked, but oh well. We'll replenish again so we can help our Golden Tower conquest. We have to finish this army off again. Only got three units, but it's got to be done. It's gotta be done. Oh, don't tell me we can't reach him. Okay, good. Oh, and we got an ambush as well. Even better. We'll take the food for this one, I think. Okay, now the part of the Golden Tower is finally clear. Now we've got to wait to the next damn turn. So there is that small army approaching the Golden Tower in the distance there. Hopefully they can't get there before I do. That would be embarrassing. Take a little bit of replenishment. We should be able to take that on the next turn. I think they'll be out of range, although they might be able to get in range. I'll try to get my hero to block the army, but he's not going to get there for this one. Ruckus will be nearly home. He's recruiting. Okay. I think we're good to advance. We'll upgrade this. A few skill points to use, old Queaky. Make him into the utter beast that he is. Oh, got another one. Think I'll maybe start working on Queek's army. I want to eventually get him some better, stronger units. So maybe Storm Vermin. I'll upgrade his Storm Vermin skills and then he can have an army of Sword and Shield and Halberd Storm Vermin. Amongst other things. And that will be pretty brutal. Have a little scout through the lands. Where's my Doom guy? Here he is. Gonna move him towards Slatland still. Have a little scout on the way though. I think we're good. Let's see if Krokgar makes any moves. He's gonna be pretty pissed at us now, I'm sure. Nope. Nobody's. Well, Krokgar's not making a move. I can't see what the other army did. She's the one I really wanna see what they did, to be honest. They got to the Golden Tower. I'm not going to be best pleased. Come on. Oh, you're having a laugh. Oh, everything's unlocking. That one gives us food. Might be a wise idea to do that. Because we're short on food. 
tasty, tasty foods now. That'll help us just a little bit because we're getting towards the orange a little bit, which I'm not too keen on. Okay, so these dicks have gone into the Golden Tower. This dick is still a dick. And this guy's doing nothing. Let's get him down. Oh my god, there's another army there as well. Oh dear. So many Lizardmen armies. I don't know how. They've got like three places now, four, five places. Who knows? Block army. Bit late for that. It's only quite a small army actually, so I think we'll still be able to take it. We replenish really damn well. So I think we'll go for it anyway. They've only got nine units. And then another five. Should still be easy enough. Okay, good. I thought that was a bigger army. Or I felt like it was going to somehow replenish. They force march as well, actually. So they're going to be tired in the battle. Although not if we can attack them in this turn, which we can't. So never mind. They're not going to be tired at all. We'll stay here and replenish a bit more then. And then we'll get them on the next turn. Happy days. I do want to get my hero in my army as well. Make use of him for this battle. Good old Scriff. In fact, I may as well just fill my army up with what? Oh, Skaven Slaves? That'll do, I suppose. One extra unit of Skaven Slaves. He'll become some kind of handy, useful suicide unit, if nothing else. Still getting some Poison Wing Globideers. We can finally get ourselves a Plague Priest. I like this guy's name, so we'll take him. We can put him in Ruckus's army as well. Magic is one thing I have been short of in this campaign, as I have no Plague Priests. Or no Gracier Lords. Because, of course, Gracier Lords have minus something loyalty to Queek, because Queek doesn't like them. Queek hates casters. You and me both, Queeky. You and me both. Last Defender's going to do anything here? Eh? Eh? Oh, one of the armies is moving over. Brilliant. Oh dear, I think we're going to take this and then we're going to get taken out by that other army that's coming. So this is going to be fun. I love this campaign. It's the best campaign in the world. Come on. Get it over with. I want to see what happens. I want to take this place. And I want everything to be okay. We have successfully completed a quest for Dwarf Gouger. Quest issued for the Dwarf Gouger itself. Oh, ho, ho. I want to try and get that at some point. Not just at the minute, though. Tiny enemy force, but I'm sure lots of reinforcements. Okay, that will be done. But for now... Let's take this freaking tower. Been a long time coming. Onwards. Oh, it's not that much in my favor. Oh, they do have Temple Guard. Come on, my army can destroy that one. It doesn't even have walls. It's not even a walled place. All right, let's try and apply these banners. Who's going to make use of fiery, fiery weapon damage? Maybe some plague monkeys? I reckon so. And what else we got? Leadership when fighting against dwarves. Not much use. We'll just put it on... Uh, uh, it doesn't matter, does it? Just put it on the plague monks for now. We shouldn't need any extra menace below. Let's do this for the Golden Tower. <laughs>